Today's video is brought to you by Hershey. You know the one. Hi, and welcome to You Deserve a Drink. I'm Mamrie Hart, and this is Beans Hart, who wants to get away from me as fast as possible. Today, we are making s'mores, and we are eating them with an old friend, because there is nothing better than catching up with an old buddy or getting to know someone over a delicious dessert. Seriously, though, I've had like eight of these. Now, the friend I'll be sharing this tasty treat with is my bestie since college, Melissa. She is a wild one. We have spent so much time together. We met my sophomore year of college, and then, you know, we spent our 21st birthdays together. We remained bi-coastal besties when I lived in New York and she lived in LA. Beans is currently not stoked that I reference someone else as one of my best friends and not her. Also, she hates Melissa. Full stepsister rivalry. And now we're both in LA and decided to come down to Palm Springs for a couple days to catch up. Now normally when you think of s'mores, you probably think about roasting marshmallows over a campfire or over some open flame. And Grace and I, we actually do have a fire pit, but we also both have a crippling fear that we're gonna turn it on and accidentally blow up our home. I'm not gonna do that. Did you know you can actually just make s'mores under the broiler in your oven, though? Put some oil up on your foil, cause these here s'mores, they're about to get broiled. Line up your crackers and chocolate so neat. Put those bad boys under the heat. It only takes a few seconds for them to toast. Stack them up, smush them down, and get ready to boast. Cause Hershey's s'mores are the favorite treat to share with your friend who likes to eat. Cute. So I urge you, watch this video, then you go make some s'mores, and then you get to know one of your friends a little s'more than you did before. And here she is, it's my bestie, Melissa. Hey. You guys know her. You were in a video with me where we made pinatas, and we filmed them. Oh, yeah, we filmed them with the most nonsensical things we could think of. Called pinatas, here's a clip. Let's see, I have a shell and a big safety pin. But the nice thing about the shell is <laughs> There's a hole in it, so you can make it a necklace like <laughs> Ursula and the Little Mermaid. <laughs> I love that you're just having a garage sale. Would you like to cheers me with a delicious oh Hershey's s'mores? I can't wait. I made cheers. these like 10 minutes ago and she's been wanting to take a bite. I know. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> These are really good. I got some sticky fingers. So Melissa and I have been besties since 2003 or something? College, yeah. So yeah, that's okay. right. So we should know each other pretty well, but what's better to reconnect with an old friend than s'mores and some healthy competition? I gave Melissa 12 questions to answer about herself, and I answered the same, and we're gonna guess each other's answers. I'm calling this Smortal Combat. Sonic boom! The first question was, what are two fictional BFFs that remind you of our friendship? Thelma and Louise. <gasps> That's so good, but no. no. I said Romeo and Michelle. I was gonna say Romeo and Michelle too, but then I was like, are we that dumb? But yeah. yes, we are. But here's the thing, is I don't think Romeo and Michelle are dumb because when they go to that reunion and they make up the post-it lie, I thought that was a really good And lie. they remember that entire dance number. That takes memory, that takes smarts. If I was going to guess who'd you say, I would say that we're a combination of Golden Girls. Oh yeah. So you're There's Sophia and Dorothy <laughs> and I'm Rose and Blanche. Yes, I think yes. We're already on our way to being Golden Girls together. I know, so. I'm already on my way to forgetting what the point of the game is and who's answering which question. Fantastic, so we're off to a great start. Second question is, what is your biggest fear? What do you think my biggest fear is? I mean, I just put everything. You're afraid of everything. You're afraid of scary movies. You're afraid like, <laughs> <laughs> I said rats. Oh, rats are horrifying. <laughs> But we now know you think I'm scared of the world. Now what I think you put you're scared of. Someone touching your belly button. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> Melissa has this weird thing <laughs> where the thought of someone touching her belly button makes her dry heat. Not into it. Oh, my eyes are watering. Oh, no. Also, Kiefer Sutherland. All right. He's I'm so scary. <laughs> terrified of the entire Sutherland family, but specifically Kiefer. My next dog, I'm gonna name Kiefer. I hate you for it. Friendship over. Okay. Pass the s'mores. So we both got zero points. We're killing it. What is our go-to karaoke song? Your go-to individually is nine to five, but when we do it together, it's Shaka Khan, I feel for you. I put nine to five. I got points. This one's tougher because uh, you've seen me sing karaoke more than I've seen you sing karaoke. Mm -hmm. However, I am going to say that you wrote down as your karaoke song, Run Around Sue. I did, I do it, I know, it's my new one, because I had to get rid of Half Breed for a while, because I was like, this is offensive, share, but maybe 
maybe not in the 70s. Yeah. Also, another fun fact is when Melissa sings karaoke, don't you say your name is Leroy? Seymour. No, what is Chauncey? it? Chauncey? Chauncey. Chauncey. My inner grandpa. Okay, we're one for one. Yes. Okay, if you were a board game, what would you be? What do you think I wrote down for myself? I think maybe Clue, because you're very good at putting things together and detective work and like murder mystery kind of things. Well, but, uh, you have to be when you're scared of everything. Yeah. I put Trouble. Oh, you look, I forgot about the game Trouble entirely. Now, what I put down that you think you are as a board game is guess who? You got it! Not guys. because of personality disorders, just because I love the game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this woman right here is so good at guess who because she doesn't ask the normal just vanity questions. She asks questions like who is arguing with college professors, who just recently was divorced. So this lets us start tap dancing classes in like their later years. <laughs> I feel seen. Fifth question is, favorite food? I'm gonna say oysters, but I would just say the umbrella of meat. I, when you said oysters and then we were going for the umbrella, I was like, I just wrote seafood. Seafood! So you, so you get it for oysters. Okay, what's my favorite? I think that yours is hard because I know what you don't like. So I put, I, I'm thinking veggies, except for mushrooms and guacamole and avocados. I'm gonna say you gotta be more specific. There's so many vegetables. You can eat anything. You know what's my favorite? <laughs> Your stuffed artichokes. Oh! Okay, ideal vacation. Well, since you just got back from getting your captain's license during a sailing course in Granada, I'm going to say your ideal vacay is a sailing trip that ends with a pretty much deserted tropical island. Yeah, you guessed like right off the paper. Really? <laughs> island hopping on a sailboat. Um, I know that you really like tropical places too, but I also know that here in Palm Springs is your favorite escape workcation. So I had to go with Palm Springs because it's just so frequent, but did I fudge this? No, because I yeah, put fudge. anything with a swim up bar. Oh! And I essentially <laughs> just drink at the side of my pool. When will LA figure out swim up bars? Why? Swim up bars and lazy rivers. Oh, that's kind of a piss factory, but. What is your favorite album? Now, for you kids watching, <laughs> an album is something that used to come out that would be like a whole collection of songs and not just on iTunes. Not a playlist. I wrote our favorite album that just reminds me of you. Okay, what is it? Should we do it on the count of three? One, two, three. Miss Jock Elliot's Jams. Oh, Jock Jams. <laughs> Missy Elliott's super duper plot, but then I also put Slash Nearly on Tram. This woman oh has my God. the floorboard of her car right now is in their gel cases, <laughs> CDs of Jock Jams, like one through 20. Mm, I think it's four, but yes. Who would play you in a movie? Now here's what's tough for me, is we used to say that in the story of our life, you would be played by Philip Seymour Hoffman, who is no <laughs> longer with us. I have a cross through that. <laughs> <laughs> Now I think that you would be played by Carly Simon. <laughs> Thank you, I do have a big mouth. I thought we switched it, I was gonna be Danny Trejo, and then in the flashbacks, I was gonna be Sam the Eagle. Oh, nice. Back when we used to talk about who would play us in yeah. the story of our lives, you were Stacey Dash, but she is- She went real A public. little, yeah, she hard to crazy. handle these days. So I'm gonna go with Reese Witherspoon. <gasps> I, w I said Brie Larson. Oh, that'd be really good too. Thank you. If you could be any animal, what would you be? I think that if you could be an animal, you would be. I think you'd be a lovebird. I love the lovebird. I think you get it for bird. I put flamingo. <laughs> you are a human flamingo. Big nose and skinny legs. Oh, I wasn't gonna say because of your. <laughs> I just meant by your flashiness. Mm, mm. Thank you, Elsa. Your, your way you grab attention, <laughs> not your tiny pencil legs. I tried. I know you'd at least want to be Beans for a day to figure out what's in her mind. Beans heart. <laughs> I know it. This one's a little confusing. Shocker. If I was to pass away, what do I think Melissa would want of mine? I wrote down each because I couldn't figure out which way the question was going. Okay, if I were to die, I think you'd want my Bronco. Oh yeah! I just want to ride around listening to Mariah Carey and just yes. pedal to the metal, just getting chased by the cops around LA. Oh my God. I mean, I love all your clothes. I put my wardrobe. Yes, your wardrobe! <laughs> 
guys, if you don't know this, Melissa is a costume designer. She just did all the work, the costuming for Pen15, which I've talked about how obsessed I am. So, Melissa's wardrobe is insane. We got As another point. See. We have no idea where we are now with the points, but we each got another point. We'll figure it out. If you were a Greek mythical god, who would you be? I don't know if this is a Greek god, but I think you would be Medusa. Ah, yeah! I don't think it's a god, but I think it's a witch. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't take Greek mythology in college. I took other useless courses. <laughs> Hermes? <laughs> I said that I would be uh, Dionysus. The oh, god of drinking. Oh, yeah, that makes absolute sense to me. Thank okay. you. Well, you heard it here first, folks. You can be friends for almost 15 years and still barely know each other. Botch it was. Thank you for watching Smortal Combat. Be sure to make your own s'mores. Put your s'mores in the oven. <laughs> Invite your friends over. Reconnect. And, uh, yeah. Bye. And thanks again to Hershey for sponsoring this video. Give me, give me s'mores, give me s'mores, give me, give me s'mores. Oh my god, you're cute. <laughs> this is my first boiler s'mores. Mmm. Oh crap. Boiler second because it boiled the hell out of the first round. How dare you.